Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. So for today, I'm super excited for this video because today's video is everything I got at the Melanie Martinez Trilogy Tour Concert 2024. I am so excited to give you this haul. But first, I'm gonna tell you about my day a little bit and my outfit. And yeah, I, I was, I got everything I wanted at the Trilogy Tour. And I was saving up like just a lot of money for like the past couple of months because I wanted to make sure I had enough. And I had just enough to get everything I wanted, which is really good. Um, I mean, it's a little sad for my bank account though, because now it's like, oh, I had this much and now it's womp. But whatever. First off, I want to give you an outfit of the day. So this is a little... 360 spin. This shirt says I Heart Grease. I got it at a thrift store. Speaking of thrift store, this is my purse of today. And I got her at a thrift store as well. Um, I have this money sign necklace and this money sign ring. And I got those both in gumball machines. Then this bracelet I got at a thrift store. And then this belt is from Cider. But it came with a pair of pants, but I'm not wearing a pair of pants. And then this skirt is from Amazon. Um, and I'm gonna show you something. These shoes are from Kohl's, by the way. That I have on this little anklet, but it's actually just a bracelet that I put around my ankle. And then my earrings are from Second Glance. This is what they look like. Those are my neighbors outside right now. <laughs> Um, and then this is my makeup. I wanted to do red eyeshadow and red lipstick. And then I have on this little clip, so. Okay, today I went to go see the new movie, Inside Out 2. I give it a 10 out of 10, my mom gives it a seven. Um, it was really cute, actually, I really loved it. And, um, I think my favorite emotions were anxiety, joy, and disgust. Those I'm I think are my favorite. And you know how um joy is the center point of Riley and then her dad it's anger and her mom it's sadness. I think mine is disgust. I think she's the leader of the group of people in my head. So, I'm pretty sure though that like, joy and like, anxiety comes in every so often and I was like, hey, you know. But I mean, I really liked it and the movie theater we went to was AMC, I think. It's a pretty good theater, it wasn't too dirty and the staff was nice and I didn't have a favorite part. No, actually I did. My favorite part of that whole movie was when we, when all the characters got into the back of Riley's mind and it was um, when they got locked up in the room that was full of secrets. I really liked that cartoon dog with the little fanny pack that was alive. That was my favorite because I think that the cartoon dog's design was really cute and I think that he was funny like just like the things he said and, and did so I would say that was my favorite part um and I didn't have a least favorite part yeah I didn't have a least favorite part would I see it again yes but I'd only see it again if I had to but that's only because I just saw it but yeah um I took some photos of it and my Instagram is at uno angry one um you will see those also I really hope you guys like the videos and, and pictures and stuff that i have posted of the trilogy tour um i still have some to to come though um speaking of which though today her candles got released and i really want to buy like one at least just one because they're like 70 dollars so i don't want to like like i don't want to do all that 
but anyway if you want to buy me one my cash app is hubby love but anyway i want to get into the haul so well you guys are going to see the first thing i got i got the tote bag um i got the tote bag i got it it says melanie martinez the trilogy tour and we have her in her um class fight form with her hair and then her portals form with the same hair from class fight it's really good um look how cute i look with it i'm like hey very cute okay so the first thing I'm going to pull out, um, the first thing I'm going to pull out was actually free and it was gifted by some nice girl. So when we were standing in line waiting to get into the arena, a girl went bought down the whole line and up to give everyone stickers and she gave me two. So the first one is this ball and it looks like a ball from an anime, but I'm not sure. I don't watch anime. But I don't know, it looks like a ball from an anime. Something familiar that I've seen before, like floating around on TikTok. Anyway. <laughs> this one is my personal favorite. Um, it's this cat that's inside of a candy bar, I think. But I'm not sure what the candy bar is. But it's this cat that's like looks very like lazy and looks like it's floating into space in this candy bar, is it? I don't know, I've never seen this candy before in my life, but it looks like it would be like a chocolate bar or something, so. But yeah, some nice girls gave everyone a line two stickers, so I got these two. That was really sweet of her. Okay. I wanna show off. So I ended up getting some socks. Yes. Oh, you can see that. Oh, you can see it. Whoop. Okay, um, so I ended up getting some socks. Also, I want to have a disclaimer just real quick. Everything I'm going to be showing you, I'm actually going to be wearing. I know that there is loads of collector accounts out there, just on all different platforms of the internet. Um, and some stuff of Melanie's that I own, I don't really like using like her perfume. I used it once and it was to go to the trilogy tour. But other than that, I don't really want to use it unless something really special is going on. But I've seen a lot of people get socks and not take off these tags or anything like that and not wear them. But I want to say I am going to be wearing them. You can either hate or you can love it or you could just not care. But I just wanted to say that just because I feel like maybe some people would be wondering but yeah, I'm gonna be taking off all these tags. I was actually thinking I would keep one. Cause look at it, it says Melanie Martinez Trilogy Tour Socks and it has K312, we have pacifiers, little bears, spiders, hearts, school buses, little butterflies and like little leeches. And then the back is just this. And they are made in the USA right up here. And these socks are made using the finest <clears throat> combat cotton sourced. So, um, and I think you can see that. Um, I would say that they feel quite nice. They feel soft and smooth. I obviously have not worn them yet. But um, yeah, if anyone would want to see me style any of the stuff that I did get, like the tote bag socks or shirt um well yeah i will be so don't worry you guys can see that because you guys could still go in like september or october or, or whatever if anyone else is going but yeah this one is the crybaby one and it has um it has little baby bottles on it and then it has this little bear that's crying and we have this other little bear here that looks quite happy actually and then that is it and it goes all the way around. And I just love these colors together. This like deep green with this pink. I think they're really pretty. Then coming up right next. 
we have the K-12 socks, also made in the USA. Has the same thing from the back of them, and all of the little tags are the same. But this one, I also love the colors because it reminds me of Cotton Candy, which reminds me of the Carousel song and music video, because like one of her lyrics is, Why did you steal my cotton candy heart? You threw it in this porn slot, and now I'm stuck, I'm stuck, riding, 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 round and around like a horse on a carousel. We go, will I catch up to love? I can never tell. I don't know. When Carousel came on, I was screaming that. I don't relate to every single Melanie song, but there is a few, there's, there's a handful of songs from Melanie that I relate to, but like some of her songs I relate to so much that it seemed like Melanie went inside my brain, stole all my thoughts and turned it into a song. Cause like I relate to it perfectly and it's just like, huh? How did, how on earth did you end up making a song that fits me as a person and just certain things I've been through and have experienced perfectly? Like you weren't, you weren't there. Anyway though, um, it has hearts on it. Well, right here is a heart that says K through 12 and school buses on it, the pink school bus that they were riding into the school. And then that's it. But yeah, they also feel the exact same. We're going in order. And then last but not least, <laughs> I of course had to get the portals one. And again, made in the USA, has the same back, what it says, and the front. And I love this deep green color. And this one, this one has butterflies, or no, this could be moths. Yeah, moths. Please don't mind the way I said that. <laughs> moth. Um, we have mushrooms, we have leeches, or this could be a worm. We have some spiders right here. Um, and then that's it front and back. And these also feel the exact same as the other two. So now we have the entire set. Woo! Entire set! Beep, 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 beep. Hey, Melanie, what's your next album gonna be? Sorry guys, I was just on the phone, Melanie Martinez. Just kidding. But imagine that'd be so crazy so yeah i i love these um i think that they're really cute and i'm really gl glad i got all three of these because everyone that was going to her concert um they were all buying the socks and buying all three my mom thinks the socks are ugly and i don't think so but i feel like she just doesn't get it because she took me there my mom's my best friend you know she wanted to experience my first ever concert that was the Molly Martinez Village Tour my first ever concert um and yeah I mean she, I just think she doesn't get it because she's not that big of a Melanie fan speaking of which though so as someone that just went to her first ever concert and I don't know if it was what I was expecting like I feel like I was expecting something a little bit different like the stairs so we were on the floor we got so lucky so i'm so grateful but we were on the floor level better to the stage and the stairs to get up and down they're so steep and they like hurt your legs and like your ankles so bad because they're like taking like a big step like that you're gonna be like whoa whoa and like they're just very heavy feeling and like very tiring um also the first two performers no one was recording or taking photos of them i recorded the first performer but not the second one just because i had to go pee and like i just like wasn't feeling it um and no one really cared about them like no one cheered or knew any of the song lyrics 
I have to be honest, I'm just going to be honest with you, they were not my favorites and I will not listen to them again. I also feel like they didn't really match, neither one of them didn't match Melanie's vibe at all. Like they didn't have any similar songs or just vocals or just vibes, lyrics, none of that. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't listen to them again, but I feel like they were okay on the stage. I liked the first girl better than the second one, just because she did weird stuff. Like she put like a little like mask behind her eyes. She took off her shirt. She was playing with her hair and it was just fun to watch her. But the other girl just was standing and was playing the guitar and singing. I was like, boring. But I mean, she was okay too, I guess. But when Melanie came on, everyone was screaming and started recording and we everyone got up as well the first two performers everyone was sitting and barely anyone was there because i was also at a um a sold out stadium that was completely sold out so keep that in mind but everyone was standing up and it was like it was crazy um so me and my mom stood up too she was recording the whole time and i was just singing and dancing but like, I had to move a little bit from our seats. And by the way, the seats are glued down. If you are on the floor, your seats are glued. Like you cannot, you literally cannot move them. So I was like, so this is my seat, okay? Get up, stand here. And then I moved a little bit here because there was some people taller than me. Like there was this um, mom that also took maybe her kids, I don't know, but there was it was a mom and she stood up and she was like, I was like, like this and she was like this a little bit like i could just see like the back of her head so i moved a little bit to to just see melanie just because she was just a teensy bit in my way but what am i going to do tap her and be like ew don't enjoy yourself because you're taller than me no next time i can wear shoes that make me just a bit taller than my average height you know but anyway um she was actually really nice <laughs> she was nice and her kids were okay um they also just seemed like they were like the same age as me and my mom, you know? But anyway, so there's like this security guard that kept on trying to like move me. And it was so annoying because I was not in the way there. He was trying to move me because people that were getting up and down, which A, there was barely anyone getting up and down when Melanie started. And that's the only, I was only up when Melanie started. But anyways, um, the, the lady though that was standing in front of me, um, she started talking to my mom and I saw her, but I couldn't hear and I just didn't care. And she actually was talking to my mom like, why does he keep on telling your daughter to move? What is this all about? And I thought that was sweet that I, cause I kind of thought I was like, I thought she was telling my mom like that I was like being too loud or like annoying. Cause I was like also like jumping and like moving my hands everywhere. And I, I didn't, I never touched her or anything, but I was a bit concerned if she was like, hey, so your daughter's doing a lot. She's jumping, she's screaming, she's moving her hands all over. Can you just tell her like back up or something? But no, she was like saying, why does this dude keep on telling your daughter to move? She's literally not on the way. And I thought that was really sweet because I mean, <laughs> I was it was my first concert and I just was a bit nervous, you know? But I feel like Melanie was really good. Um, my only thing though, is that we were on the floor, okay, like I said, and we were not VIP. Um, and when the balloons came out and the confetti, we were too far away, which doesn't make any sense. Like we were too far back to get any confetti or balloons. And I just didn't expect that just because like we did pay like $900 for our seats. Um, but luckily, actually, luckily though, a, um, nice girl gave me a piece of confetti. So I only have one confetti and I have no balloons, but look at it. I have a sweet piece of confetti and it's perfect. Perfect. And I'm actually going to put it in my phone case. By the way, my phone case is from Casetify. Just in case every, anyone wants to know, um, I only like shopping I guess if I, and I hope one day they notice me because I like kiss to buy. So yeah, I only have one confetti, but very grateful to have this confetti. Um, whew. and that was really sweet of her. And actually she was giving confetti to other people too. So this is my last thing I got at the trilogy tour. I got this shirt that says, I'm 
such a crybaby with this little bear that is crying, as you can see. Can you see it? Um, and then I got a size medium. I bought a size small, but they didn't have a size small. I bought a size small, but they said it was all sold out. So, but it was weird because I got there at like 3.30. And the line went, went quite easy. They, they separate the lines into four. So the line went by fairly quick, but yeah, sucks, but whatever. And the tag just says the Trilogy Tour right there. And then on the back, it has her name, Melanie Martinez. I mean, and I was thinking what I could do is I could just use a little, like, look, I could use this little hair tie and tie it back like I did with this shirt. Cause I do that um, quite often, actually. Just in case if sometimes I want a little tighter of a fit. Oh, by the way, it feels very soft and it's not too thick of a fabric. It seems like it could be breathable material. So this is her. I'm such a great baby. And then yeah, you will not be able to see her name. Melanie Martinez in the back, unless you have short hair or if look, you like put it up. Um, and then, like, look, I'll just do like this. Now, this is just using my hands, but yeah, I would just do like this. And then it look like this, you see? Thank you. And then, this is me lifting up my arms, so you can. Um, and you could probably make, this is um, more of a crop. Like, look, you can still see a bit of my stomach. So I do not think you'd be able to tuck this into pants, unless you have like a, um, high waisted type of pant, but yeah, that is everything I got at the Trilogy Tour. I am really excited to style these things and wear them, and I'm so grateful I went, so grateful. Like, I cannot believe I got to experience that. I will never forget the concert ever, because Melanie has been my favorite artist since I was like seven. I, I grew up watching her when I was literally just a baby and now that I'm a, a teenager I, I still love her and think she's amazing and I cannot believe I got to experience that and I got to experience her life like I'm sorry I don't know why I'm like tearing up and like sounding weird but I, I just am so grateful I was able to go there because like I got to see her life when she first started as Crybaby through K through 12 and then through Portals and I got to watch her die. Like that's just so cool. And you never know when she's going to make a new album or new merch or go on tour or even post sometimes just like on Instagram. And um, you never know when she's ever going to sing an old song. And especially, especially since the stadium was sold out, like I'm so grateful. I even was able to get tickets for me and my mom, you know? And I, I'm never going to forget this. And I really hope that in the future, I'm able to go to like another Melanie concert and just more concerts in general, because I had an amazing time. And I feel like there's always things that you would want to change about a concert um, or do and things you regret. So just remember, if you're going to a concert anytime soon, just do it, compliment a person, ask them for their number or something. If someone has <laughs> balloons or confetti, try and go in the front and grab it. Cause like there was like, at the end, um, when everyone was leaving, I wish I would have went to the front because there was this dude blowing confetti off of the stage. And I wish I would have done that and like grabbed more of it and like even went through the, the, um, chairs to go get like a balloon and something because one dude did and he got a balloon actually but I didn't I was too shy and I just felt like claustrophobic and I regret it now um and yeah I, I hope you enjoyed this video I am really excited to wear and style all these amazing pieces um I love you all my Instagram is at unoangry1 and my cash app is hope you love and um too many more wonderful memories and experiences always be grateful for your life and love yourself and treat yourself with kindness and respect 
same, do the same thing with the people around you that love you and care about you and want to be a part of your life. Treat them with love and respect and kindness and um, yeah, but also make sure if there's someone in your life that needs to be cut out, cut them out because they don't deserve your love or respect or kindness. So, bye.